Well, a sewage worker gets sent out to fix a broken line, but he ends up unearthing something with spiritual and historical significance. In the process of digging up that line, he hit something besides a pipe. It turns out he stumbled upon an ancient pool under the streets of East Jerusalem. Archaeologists believe it's the pool of Siloam where, or according to the Gospel of John, Jesus healed a blind man. No one was more excited than archaeologist Eli Shukran, who was there when the steps, or rather he was there when the steps to the ancient pool were actually unearthed. He joins me now live from Jerusalem. Eli, tell me what it felt like and what was going through your mind when you saw the steps. I uh, was uh, exciting. You know, 2,000 years, no one know exactly where is the pool. And now you touch, you found it, you touch the stone, you touch the pottery, you touch the coin, and it, it gives you a great uh, feel. And if you think about the story, you go back to the Gospel of John 9, 6 through 8, and it said, Jesus smeared the mud on the blind man's eyes and said to him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam. So the blind man went away and washed and came back seeing. Now you say you've discovered this pool. How do you think it's going to change how scholars view the Bible, Eli? I don't know if it's going to change something, but we know today exactly where it was happened. And we have all the evidence, everything that we know surely that this is the place that we found now. It's a big, big pool. I'm talking about one acre pool that build like steps that you can go into the water. You can make a ritual bath. You can drink in the water. It's, we think it's more a community pool that the people can camp, sit together around. And if you're talking about Jerusalem in the Second Temple period, when the pilgrim came to Jerusalem, this is the place that they came first to, to sit there, to make a ritual bath, and from there they go up to the temple. So also we found the connection between the, between the temple and the pool, and this is give us the, the idea how it was there in that time. So, and also to, to match the time element, didn't you say you found some coins or there were some imprints from some coins uh, within the walls that made that connection? Is that right? Yeah, yeah we found the coins. You can see uh, one coin. Uh, we found a lot of coins. This is this coins from the rev revolution between uh, the Jew and the, and the Roman, the war. And we can see this one of, of, of a lot of coins that we found in the excavation. Also, we found the pottery, we found the uh, stone vase, uh, we found a lot of uh, evidence that give us the date of this pool. And now we know exactly that this is uh, uh, what we found. This is from the second temple period, the time of Jesus. And, uh, and this is the pool. Uh, and if the, in the New Testament, they talk about the, uh, the uh, Siloam pool. This is the Siloam pool from the Second Temple period. And if it was a miracle, it, the miracle was there, no in the other else. That's amazing. We want to thank Todd uh, Bolin also with BiblePlaces.com. He brings us these incredible pictures, Eli, of what you came across. Finally, if I come to visit or anyone else comes to visit this area, will there be a point in time where we can actually uh, walk down these steps and visit this pool? How will it be preserved now? Yeah, it's, it's open to the public. Uh, we didn't finish uh, our project there, but the people can come to see, to look, to sit uh, close to the water uh, and, and, and feel how it was before 2,000 years, how it was when Jesus was around there, or how it was when the people came uh, to this pool and from there, this area go to the temple. They can feel it and they can come and to see it. No doubt uh, sense the miracle. Eli Shukran, the archaeologist who actually unearthed this famous uh, pool of Siloam. You can read about it even in the New Testament. It's pretty incredible to see the pictures and read about it. Eli, thank you so much. That wraps up this Thursday edition of Live From. I'm Kira Phillips with the CNN Center in Atlanta.